slide. Um, yeah. So, okay, first topic, the mini course. So if you don't know what the mini course is, then we can have a look here. Uh, this is just um, my local development system, which I use, and um, I got the source code from uh, GitHub, which is publicly available. And um, yeah, I built this content and um, I created some, yeah, just some dem uh, demonstration content, which isn't that useful, but you can get an idea of, um, of what this mini course is. So uh, you can see it here and uh, well, there's this big button in the center. And if I click on open mini course, it will go to full screen. And as you can see, it's um, yeah, it is like kind of mini course. I I created three units, which are these things, which um, yeah, kind of hide one single um, HYP content type or a column. If we'll see that later. So um, as you can see, this these are locked. I can't access those, uh, but I can open the first one. Uh, I click on start lesson, and uh, yeah, you I guess you can. Yeah, you recognize what this is. This is um, a drag the words content, and yeah, this I have to say this is a demo, and I uh, will just say this is demo because I don't like BA. And click on check, and I will of course get three of out of four points. And yeah, now I can continue. As you can see, now the second unit would be yeah would be uh, enabled, and I could use it. And um, I can see here my, my, my total score would always be updated whenever I finish one of the units. I can see how much I've completed. I can see the maximum score. Nothing too complicated. Um, I can, of course, do that as well. And is it A, B, C, or D? And uh, I know which it is. Um, uh, do I have to make a mistake? No, I guess we can. Let's just say A and C, which would be correct, I guess. I hope so, I hope so at least. Yeah, so. Two more, more points, and just demonstrate like the diversity of content that you can put into it. I uh, here I just use an image of a cat sitting on my laptop because uh, she, I guess she didn't want me to work. Um, yeah, so could be an image as well. And when you're done with all your um, units, you will get the result screen, uh, pretty similar to what you get in um, course presentation or interactive video, and you could try again, of course. So actually, this is all it could do. Um, there are, of course, some tweaks. And the best way to show you um, these tweaks, or what you, what you can tweak, is to go to the editor. So on Drupal, it looks that way. You click on Edit. And uh, I guess you will notice that one. This is, yeah, it's the, the usual editor form of H5P. And yeah, we can have a look here, for example. Obviously, the idea is that you can have different layouts. You have the grid, which we saw right uh, right now. And um, there are two other options, like linear and pages. And I'm not sure what those would be because um, I didn't look into the code. And if I use those, the content type crashes. So it is not done, obviously. So there is some work to do. Um, probably just some bug fixing. Um, yeah, but I didn't take a look. So that's what you do. Here you design uh, all your units, so you can give it yeah, like a header, an introduction text, and, and here, here's the most interesting thing maybe. Here's what you can put into it. As you can see, it's, I, I don't think it's every content type that there is in HFP, but uh, I think the last time the code was touched was two years ago. So um, yeah, this hasn't been updated. I had to even to update the um, version numbers a little because otherwise I couldn't have put in multiple choice questions, for example. But I think um, the idea is to have everything you want to in here uh, because there are only few restrictions that would, would apply. So I guess everything could be in here. Uh, yeah, that is a direct, uh, direct question. And of course, you can always have this overall feedback. And then there's just some um, extra things you can define a score for this um, interaction. So of course, it, this would be um, would be four points um, because there are four words. But you could say maybe. I don't know, but it, I need 10 points here. So you could assign 10 points and would it scale it? Like four would be 100%. Um, if you have two, it would be oh, it would be 10 points. If you get two right, it would be five points and so on. Uh, yeah, and then there are behavior settings, but you know those you can, again, enable a retry. And uh, you can also, um, if you're a nice person, you could uncheck this one and then you wouldn't have to um, go one unit by one unit so you can choose freely which one you would like to 
to um, to do. And also again, some some layout things. Um, I haven't checked with check these um, I, or I didn't try to 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 have every combination but uh, you, you could of course say um, don't go to full screen if you don't like that for example you can, can change that here um, that's just the um, the red bar that you saw where the, you have the maximum score and the the current score you could put that on top if you wanted to for example um, even add some exceptions like w for one unit it should be here I guess that's uh, I didn't try that actually but I guess it is um, I don't know maybe it's not I don't know um, you can define some exceptions for some things and again you can uh, you saw the everything was was uh, white you can could change the the color of the units for example so that what it is supposed to do which is yeah, kind of useful, I think. Um, of course, if you're running Moodle, you don't need that because Moodle has, yeah, much a much more sophisticated interface for creating courses and can do much more. But if if you're running HFE on WordPress, for example, then it would be pretty useful to have like a mini course. Of course, you could do that with multiple pages and uh, yeah, maybe use column. Um, yeah, but it would be useful to have. Um, and I thought, okay, what could be the reason, or what could be the reasons why this has not been released yet? Obviously, um, this here doesn't work, so there are still some bugs, but might be just some minor things. And I thought, hmm, recently Interactive Book has been released, and it is kind of similar, so maybe mini course has been ditched. No, is ditched the right word? It um, has been cancelled. Um, yeah, but I could speculate all day. And what I did was I asked Paul Jorgensen because, um, as I mentioned, all the source code is on GitHub, which is a, uh, a site where you can share source code and um, you can also have uh, ask questions in issues. So that's what I did. So I asked Paul um, yeah, just what, what the status is. So is there something, uh, what, what's left to do and will you continue work or is there something else um, that the community could do? And he didn't reply here. See, he posted I mean, directly, but I think it's fine if I share his answer here. He just says, okay, well, this is a spare time project. I do that in my free time, uh, which is called uh, Coolness Projects um, at H5P, because the comp uh, company Jubel that creates H5P has so-called cool days of coolness whenever there is a major release. And, um, well, he says there, there has not been a day of coolness so far in 2020. Uh, because there was no major release, so I guess that is what is he's, he's hinting to. Um, could also mean, so there will be major release this year in... Oh, we also already have autumn, I don't know. It should be, could be any day when the update is released. And um, I guess then he'll have Day of Coolness and then he'll uh, yeah work again on mini course. But that's what I could find out. Um, yeah, so it's... Yeah, as you can see, if, if you want to use it... Um, Maybe I could show that next time. How, in in general, how to, how you can, um, yeah, build your, your, um, content types that have not been released from the source code here, because you can have a look. This is the source code. Uh, lots of files, and in this case, it's pretty simple. You would just have to download this, um, pack it correctly, which you you could even do manually if you use, uh, just you could just zip it. Um, with some flags, that's important. Um, yeah, and then you could, I guess if you use Windows, but most of you probably do, then you would have to change the extension to from uh, ZIP to H5P, and then you could upload it and it would work. Um, yeah, but maybe I'll, I'll show that next time. I just, uh, no, there is a build process involved. It, it's a little, little more complicated. Um, yeah, but if you're interested, I can show that next time.